So hello guys and welcome once again to a new video. Uh, in this video I want to address a topic that I didn't saw covered uh, on YouTube uh, but neither on uh, a lot of forums where I have tried to, to find an answer. And this is regarding this Chinese um, uh, Android head unit uh, that a lot of us have on, uh, on our cars. And the problem with their, with them, I saw a lot of people have uh, problems with the the battery draining uh, due to this uh, this uh, head unit. And the only videos and discussions on the, on the internet regarding this was uh, related to a setting, and usually uh, yeah, going in settings and then in car infotainment and common. And here you have um, sleep mode, yeah. And this should be put on off, put on off, off, yeah. Usually, sleep mode uh, is the setting that allows the unit to not uh, completely shut off, but instead, when you uh, put the ignition, it will resume from uh, instantly. And it's like uh, your smartphone or tablet if you just uh, shortly click on the on the power button, something like that. But instead, if you uh, put it on um, a sleep mode on off, then every time you put uh, the ignition key uh, off, it will completely uh, remove voltage from the unit, saving the battery. But uh, is this really the truth? So I wanted to see how much current is actually drawn by this, uh, this tablet uh, when this is put on, uh, the sleep mode is on. So basically when the tablet is in um, um, standby mode, yeah. Always and usually the timing differs from the unit to unit. Could be two hours until it will completely shut off, or can be uh, maximum to three days, which is the case for this specific tablet, which in my opinion is way too much to be on alert. But if you ride the car every time, yeah, every day, then it's not a big problem. But everything depends on the draw, the the current draw of uh, this tablet. And if you have this problem, yeah, uh, the first thing that you have to do it's, is one test that you can do on the tablet. The second one, it involves the, the test for the current draw and I will show you in uh, just a second. So first of all, uh, you will have to open it, uh, an app that is user installed. So not an app that comes pre-installed on the unit, but actually user install. So in my in my case, I have here um, Waze. Yeah, this is installed by me. Yeah, I will let the, the unit um, uh, yeah, load the the app. Yeah. And then as soon as you put the ignition on off, now you remember is in sleep mode. Yeah, so the current is still drawn by the tablet. Yeah. And now give it a little bit of time. Yeah. Let's put it back on on. You see instant, instant uh, uh, power on. Yeah, but you, as you can see, Waze is not loaded anymore. So. We can see the latest uh, the latest app started here are only apps that are from the system itself so everything which is uh, a user installed will be completely shut down and this uh, keeps only the system apps in running in the back background and keeping the the microcontroller or the microprocessor at the low speed so this is the first test you can make if you have it already if you uh, open the the ignition on and uh, your application is uh, 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 powering on immediately then you have a, a problem 
And now let's go to the second uh, to the second point of the test. Actually, the current draw uh, of the the unit. First of all, I want to see what is the current draw when the unit is in uh, without slip mode. Yeah. So now it's off. It will when I power off the car. Yeah. then it will make a cold boot as it is called yeah. let's see as you can see the logo comes and then loading all the apps and everything so it's not an instant boot this is called the uh, cold uh, boot so now for this we will need to have access uh, to the to the fuse box. In my case here I have located the fuse box, yeah, and here we have to identify uh, where is the fuse of um, this head unit. And we are searching for multimedia. Hopefully you can see where it is. Yeah. So here I don't know if we can focus. It states multimedia and it's a 15 amp uh, fuse and using the uh, multimeter we will put this multimeter on milliamps yeah and we will probe we will probe the fuse yeah the two terminals of the fuse with the probe and we will receive a voltage drop yeah and based on this voltage drop and comparing to this chart here yeah you can see we have all the fuses here listed in our case this is the blue 15 amps we will see compared on the voltage drop we will see in milliamps yeah hopefully you can see how much voltage drop we have so let's do that now Okay, so as you can see, yeah, we are now probing the 15 amp uh, fuse of the multimedia system. Yeah, and we have 0, 0.0 millivolts. This means zero voltage drop on the fuse. So there is no current draw yeah, from the unit. When it's in standby mode yeah, or off mode with the sleep mode off and now let's power up the the unit and put it on sleep mode on and repeat the process Okay, so now we are probing the same the same fuse and we can already read 0 0.567 millivolts going up to 8 and down to 4 sometimes so some processes are uh, developing on the actual tablet but the average is somewhere between 5 and 6 0 0.5 0 0.6 millivolts when the unit is in sleep mode okay and now taking a look on the on the actual chart Here, yeah, so we have to take a look. Let's switch to the camera. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6, also 0 0.7. So we will look here, yeah, and here of the blue 50 amps 
and it's somewhere between one hundred one hundred and thirty one one hundred and fifty three milliamps so zero point one three zero point one five milliamps per hour so you can imagine if you have this unit in sleep mode for what's the press it uh, the st uh, standard interval of 72 hours you can do the math 72 times yeah 150 millivolts it and it will give you the number of amps with which will be drawn from the from the battery yeah as i can tell you yeah the normal the normal battery drawn uh, by a battery is between 50 milliamps and 100 milliamps yeah everything which is above 100 milliamps per hour is already too much yeah and we are somewhere here uh, let me switch back so we are somewhere here between the two so it's all already above way above yeah and don't forget you have be beside this you have also some lights you have uh, maybe an uh, alarm uh, you have the central locking system and a lot of, of other um, uh, ECUs that drone uh, the draw the from uh, from the battery so yeah be careful this is the reason maybe why this uh, dr dr drains your battery it depends on the on the power of your battery of course it depends on the age of your battery for sure but uh, usually this is this is why yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if yes give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and now since i'm back from from vacation i will try to uh, uh post uh, a video more often so sorry about that but yeah we will see you in the next one thank you for that keep it cool and see you in the next video bye bye